This is a quick video on how magnetic fields work. A magnetic field shows the direction that the north pole of a magnet would be pushed by the force of the magnet creating the field. It's a vector. In this class, we only really care about how it affects electric charges specifically. The variable for the magnetic field is capital B, don't ask me why, and the unit is T for Tesla. So I have here the north pole of one magnet and the south pole of another magnet. So if we think about the direction that the north pole of a magnet would be pushed by these two poles, we know that it would be pushed from the north pole to the south pole, like that. So that would be the direction of the magnetic field. Magnetic fields put a magnetic force on moving charges, and moving charges can also create magnetic fields. There are two equations that you'll need to know involving magnetic field. The equation on the left is for a single charged particle moving in a magnetic field, and the equation on the right is for a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. And I find that most of the variables for each of these equations are pretty self-explanatory, except for theta, the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field, that, or the angle between the wire and the magnetic field. That can be a little confusing, so I'm going to show you what I mean by theta. We can imagine that we have magnetic field lines that look like this, and we can imagine that on the left I have a charged particle moving in the field, and on the right I have a current carrying a wire in the field. That theta is the angle between the velocity of the particle, or the direction of the current, and the field. And you can see in this instance that both are parallel to the field itself. They're pointing in the same exact direction as the field. So that means that the angle between the velocity and the field and between the current and the field is actually zero. They're parallel to each other, so there's no angle separating them. And if the angle is zero, sine of zero is zero. So that will actually mean that if these things are parallel to the magnetic field, there is zero force coming from the magnetic field on those objects. So this can be a little strange when you first start to work with this, but if you're moving parallel to a magnetic field as a charge, you actually don't experience force. However, if you move in a perpendicular direction to the field like this, you can see that the angle between the velocity and the angle between the current and the field is now 90 degrees. And I know that 90 degrees is where sine is at a maximum of 1, so this actually means that the field is at a maximum if you're moving in a perpendicular direction to the field. So basically, this equation is telling you that it's only the component of the velocity or the current that is perpendicular to the field that creates a force on the object.